everyone, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2015 MY16 Mitsubishi Triton Exceed. Now we will start off at the front of the vehicle, run you through the condition and also some of the features on the car as well. Starting off at the front, the first thing you can note is it does have the genuine smoked bonnet protector. So the bonnet and the windshield for that matter have uh, very minimal stone chips on the front as well. Now you do also have uh, the chrome grille in the front of the bumper with that iconic Mitsubishi badging. You also get fog lights fitted down the bottom as well and the front bumper and the bonnet as I mentioned are uh, very good condition for the age of the vehicle especially being a 2015. Taking a look at our first alloy wheel as you can see nice design that Mitsubishi's gone with here it is an unmarked alloy wheel and the tread on the tires it still has plenty of tread left on them as well. Now you do get the side mirrors and the chrome door handles the mirrors themselves actually have the indicator integrated in the mirror most manufacturers go these ways this way these days just to clean up these side quarter panels the door handles themselves do actually have the keyless entry in them so clicking this button here will actually lock the car which you'll see every time the car is locked the mirrors will actually fold in and then clicking the button again will actually unfold the mirrors and the doors will be unlocked now taking a look inside you would not believe the condition and also the kilometers on this car as you can see the seat still looks like it's in almost showroom condition carpets are absolutely unmarked door seals are unmarked and then real minimal wear where we kick open the door because we get lazy um, on that driver's door as well now the windows have been tinted so you do have a uh, tint on all four or i should say all five windows um, so if you were thinking about get that done in the future you will save a bit of money there as well do also have the alloy side step that's been fitted as well so getting in and out of the car if you're a smaller or I should say shorter person will make life a lot easier for you. Second alloy wheel is unmarked again with even better tread on this rear tyre. Keep working our way down to the back of the vehicle. As you can see we do have the genuine tow pack fitted as well. You have the rear step, you also get a rear camera. Now you're probably wondering why doesn't Mitsubishi put the camera in the middle of the car. Uh, now when we power our park, especially in Australia, you park on the left hand side of the road so they put the camera on the left hand side to give you more coverage on the side of the road. We'll uh, open up the hard lid if we can get it open. Yep, she's open which is a good start. As you can see, nice colour coated hard lid. Just wipe that bug off there. In there you also have the genuine tub liner as well and all the genuine rubber mats which are all in really good condition. Up top as well you do have the sports bars that have been fitted as well, just really looks good and sets off the vehicle. Another unmarked alloy wheel with, as I mentioned before, as the other side, really good tread left under tyre. Do have the fuel filler cap on the passenger side, so if you did ever need to fill up, you are on the safe side of the vehicle. Paintwork is all unmarked on the passenger side of the vehicle as well. Of course you have the side step on the opposite side with the keyless entry on the passenger door as well. And then getting to the fourth and final wheel, another unmarked wheel with really good tread. So as you can see guys with the exterior condition you would not believe the age of this vehicle with how well this car presents. Alright guys so taking a look underneath the bonnet so what we have here is a 2.4 four-cylinder turbo diesel engine sending so produces 133 kilowatts and also 430 newton meters of torque. Do have a five-speed sports automatic gearbox in the vehicle as well. 75 litre capacity tank that on average will give you around 7.6 litres to the 100 k so out of a full tank of fuel, you're going to get around an average of 987 kilometers. Alright guys, taking a look inside the Triton now, we'll start you off on the driver's side door. Do have all your power window controls, also a button here to lock the windows as well. Behind the steering wheel is where you have your engine start stop button. You also have all your mirror controls as well. As I mentioned outside the car, you can actually fold the mirrors in from inside the car as well. Traction control button and then you also have your adjustment for your headlights as well. Now on the right hand stalk is where you have your indicators, your fog lights and also your headlights. You can just leave it on auto and it'll do all the work for you. Left hand stalk is your windscreen wiper and that is also automatic so it's simple as just clicking it down once and then once it starts raining the wiper will do its own thing. On the steering wheel as you can see it does have a nice leather wrap steering wheel which on the right hand side you do have all your cruise control settings and the left hand side is where you have all your media control settings with your Bluetooth down below. Now there are paddle shifts which I'll explain a little bit later into the uh, video but we'll work our way into the main entertainment system now. Um, just above that you can see that the previous owner has fitted a dash mat so obviously cared about his car and you will notice that when looking inside the car as well. 
It is a nice touchscreen display. Uh, it does have satellite navigation, which I'll show you now. Also has AM, FM radio, USB and AUX and a really nice reverse camera as well. So as you can see, really good multimedia system that Mitsubishi's added in there. Down below with the climate control, it is, it is dual zone climate control, so you can have two different temperatures for the driver and the passenger. As you can see, we both have them set the same at the moment, but as you can see, if I turn up or down, you can actually have two different temperatures. And then they're just all your hard buttons to control that there. You have this little screen here that actually lights up to tell you who's not wearing their seatbelt. Your hazard buttons, and then down below you have your rear diff lock, so to turn that off and on, so if you want to be going uh, forward driving, you'd obviously turn that on. You've got a USB, your 12 volt socket, and a good amount of storage under here as well. Now, as I mentioned before, it is a 5-speed automatic, but if you put it across to what they call the sport shift, that's when you can actually use the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to shift through the gears manually, or you can use the lever, whichever one suits you best. Here is your four-wheel drive selector, so it does have two high, four high, um, but you can actually, oh, four high low and also four high low control. Uh, you can also go from two high to four high um, up to 100 kilometers an hour. So it's as simple as just turning that there and you'll be into four-wheel drive up to 100 kilometers an hour. So really easy to do um, and the only one of its kind on the market. Two cup holders, manual handbrake. You've got the vinyl wrapped armrest or center console got two different compartments and then underneath here as you can see you get another 12 volt socket and a really good amount of storage as well now I'm just gonna get the camera person to pan around the interior and show you the condition of the vehicle I mean this car with only 13,670 kilometers in it on it for being a 2015 the inside of the car still presents as if this car was new and then once we're done doing that we'll jump outside the car and we'll finish off the video Alright guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only the condition, but also some of the features as well. Now this car will qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. That's going to give you an additional 5 years, up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection. It's also going to give you 10 years of premium roadside assist, and also unlimited claims, up to $3,600 per claim. Now of course this is an additional cost, but if you are using our in-house finance, Julia Mario, our business managers, would be more than welcome to show you a package with the car and the mechanical protection plan, and you'll see how minimal, once you add it into the, pa the package into the, uh, to add with the car, how minimal it actually affects the payment. Last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over 1,000 reviews from our Australia-wide customers, hopefully that can show you and give you the peace of mind that you're buying a really good car from the right dealership and the right people as well. Again, number to call, 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.